the new year, always a chance to start fresh. And this weekend, Chinese New Year ushers in the Year of the Rabbit. Joining us now to talk more about this is James Ma and Leanne Chen with the Denver Chinese School Lakewood Campus. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, James, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. We know Chinese New Year is known to be a big event. So what is the history behind it? And we could just, whoever wants to start first. I think Chinese New Year is the like most important festival in Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. And this festival has been celebrated for more than 4,000 years. I believe every Chinese people, no matter where we are, we celebrate this holiday with families and uh, friends every year because it's a holiday for family gatherings. And Les, what about the Year of the Rabbit? What does that represent? What should we look forward to in the Year of the Rabbit? I know you're going to ask that question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just basically the zodiac. Okay. Uh, yeah, people different people have a different way to interpret it. Mm -hmm. uh, but usually, you know, for for the Rabbit Year, we hope you know people will have a longevity for individual. So that's pretty much it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Like each year is linked with an animal. Right? Yep. Yeah. And then has a certain meaning behind the animal. Yes. Like longevity or something else. Yes. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> well, this week we know it'll be the 19th annual Colorado Chinese New Year celebration. So what can people expect from the celebration? So uh, the Colorado Chinese New Year celebration, it's actually tomorrow, Saturday, 21st, mm -hmm. at George Washington High School in Denver. Mm -hmm. So in the morning, we will have a cultural fair at 1030. So it's a market with food, games, and a lot of fun. In the afternoon, we will have a celebration show. We have invited many award-winning performers. Yeah, you will have, you will see the best lion dance show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we will also have the like face changing magic. Oh, so beautiful. you don't want to miss it. Yeah, sounds yeah. fantastic. James, we know that red right now is an important color. Red is everywhere when it comes to the Chinese New Year. What is the um, symbolism or the meaning of that? Oh, red, uh, first of all, I didn't wear red. <laughs> okay. uh, but this is a Chinese color, by the way. Uh, so red in, in Chinese, it means like, you know, prosperity, means uh, energeticness and so forth. And so basically in that year, you want to use that to show fire, uh, but not the literal fire, but you know, it shows energy. So people tend to be more energetic when they see the color red. Mm -hmm. Everybody wears that, um, particularly on this day. So. And quickly, how important is this to you? Uh, the Chinese New Year? Yeah. I think it's the most like largest event mm -hmm. in my culture. To me, mm -hmm. it is the largest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we, go we celebrate yeah. with families and friends. Yeah. We really look forward to it. And it also, d definitely, you know, this, this is a day that everybody's supposed to behave. Mm -hmm. uh, no foul language, no foul behavior. <laughs> That, you, hear, you heard it here first. You <laughs> this is the day that you behave. Well, yep. thank you both so much for being with thank us you. and sharing some of your some of the insight and culture with us. We really appreciate it. And remember, you can watch this interview and many of our other ones on CBSColorado.com.